traffic has been light and gas prices are down. And where gas goes, ethanol follows, since it makes up about 10% of the fuel in your tank. Ethanol production has collapsed in half to prices that are now unprofitable. So imagine being the guy who created a company called Poet. Poet is the largest producer of biofuels uh, in the world. Uh, we're producing about 2 billion gallons of, of uh, ethanol per year that goes into gasoline. Jeff Broin runs Poet, based in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with about two dozen ethanol plants across the country. Ethanol prices have fallen about 25 percent, and so three of Poet's plants are now closed, with 10 percent of the workforce laid off. The plants that are running produce much less product, except here, where Poet has started making hand sanitizer. Uh, we have two plants that can produce today. Uh, we are working on several others. It won't be 100 percent of the stream coming out of that facility. But we're working on several others right now, so as quickly as we can, we'll be trying to produce more hand, more hand sanitizer. The ethanol alcohol has to be further distilled and mixed with other ingredients to make pharmaceutical grade hand sanitizer and then bottled all new procedures for the company. It's giving away some of the hand sanitizer to frontline health care workers, but the rest it's starting to sell. Meantime, the collapse in ethanol has ripple effects. About 40 percent of the nation's corn crop goes into ethanol, so grain farmers are suffering. Byproducts of ethanol production include feed for livestock, so there's less of that, as well as less CO2 the industry sells to meat packing plants, to flash freeze beef, or to soda and beer companies. And even as gasoline demand starts to return, and maybe people drive somewhere this summer instead of fly, assuming there's somewhere to go, Hand sanitizer will remain part of Poet's future. You know, I think hand sanitizer markets will increase nationwide and worldwide. I think it's an opportunity to grow into this business. Um, you know, it's going to be perhaps three, four, five percent of what we produce in the future as an industry where it was very low in the past. Uh, so I, I do see it growing. For CNBC Business News, I'm Jane Wells.